Hello, welcome. Question number 13, the last question of the WASI 2023 September edition, the subjective test question, which is on transformation or better still, the rigid motion. So, using a scale of 2 cm to 1 unit on both axes, we are to draw a graph sheet, draw on a graph sheet two perpendicular axes OX and OY. The interval of X is from 0 to 8. And the interval of Y axis is going to be negative 6 down to a positive 6. We are to plot the point M31, N11, and P35. We are to join the, the point to get a triangle M and P. Hence, we have to draw the image of the same triangle, which is a reflection of the main triangle in the x-axis. We know reflection in the x-axis, the y must be negative. All right. Then, better still, we are drawing the next triangle, which is the image of the first one under a special mapping, x map to 2x, y map to a negative y. So this is a special mapping. So where the first will map to the first main triangle will map to M2, N to N2, and P to P2. When we are to indicate clearly all the coordinates of the new triangle, then find the equation of the line that join the point M, original M, and the M2 that you calculate from here. We know to find the equation we need a gradient and one other point so let's get into it and see how we can be able to do that so now let's begin with the first one reflection in the x-axis so i i your reflection in the x-axis simply means that your mapping is going to be x y will be mapped onto x negative y the value of y will be negative so picking the original we are going to have m which is 3 1 will now map to our m1 which will be 3 negative 1 the x remain the same y is negative the n 1 1 will also map to n1 as 1 negative 1 p 3 5 will become p1 3, negative 5, based on the mapping. Then the third one, which is a special mapping. What is a mapping? X, Y is mapped to 2X, negative Y. So let's take the first one, M. 3, 1, your M2 will not be, okay, let me just put it here is going to be 2 of the x, which will be 3, the negative 1, which will now map to m2 to be 6, negative 1. I believe you get a special mapping. The value of x will replace here. The 2 is a constant. The y is negative. So my n will also going to be 1, 1, which will map to 2, 1, negative 1. 1 for x, 1 for y. And that will map to n2 to be 2, negative 1. So the third point will be p, 3 and 5 will move to 2 times the x, negative 5. Meaning your p2 will be 6 and negative 5. So now we are able to have the first triangle, which will be this. The second triangle will be using this point. Then the third triangle will be using this point. Let's get to the B part. Using the M, which is having the point 3 and 1. M2, which is having the point 6 negative 1. We can find the gradient, right? So our gradient
y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 this is the first point so this x1 y1 x2 y2 so y2 negative 1 minus y1 x2 6 minus 3 so negative 2 divided by 3 become the gradient so we are going to use any of the points so using the point 3 1 you can use this also in relation with your gradient so in relation with your gradient we are going to have y minus y1 equals to m as gradient x minus x1 where these x are the coordinates on the x and y axis this x1 y1 is the point so per substitution y minus this which is going to be 1 equals to negative 2 on 3 divided by 3 here then x minus x1 which is also be 3 I think I'm seeing a fraction so multiply through by that fraction the LCM will be 3 so 3 y minus 1 when 3 multiply here you'll be having negative 2 x minus 3 so we can expand from here to get 3y minus 3 negative 2x plus 6 negative 2 times a negative 3 give you a positive 6 so in this case we can decide to transpose all of this to the left to have a 0 as in all this can become 2x plus 3y you know this is going to come as negative so negative 3 minus 6 give you a negative 9 leaving 0 so this is going to be the equation or from here i'll maintain my 3y equals to let this go so i have negative 2x plus 6 plus 3 this will give you 9 right so now we divide by this to have y equals to negative 2 on 3 plus this divided by 3 will be 3 meaning that this could be the equation of a straight line with your gradient being this as we found there the y intercept being 3 so let's see how we can plot this on the graph also okay so for us to be able to to plot this we have been given two centimeter to one unit we know from here to here is a two centimeter from here to here two centimeter so let's have a demarcation i'll be beginning from here i'm using red pen for easy visibility instead of pencil so we know that we are going to have our x axis from here because the x axis is from zero up to eight so i don't need much of the negative axis that's why i'm beginning from that end you could also begin from zero exactly since we are being told to start from zero then the y-axis will take its course from here we don't have much of the negative either on the y-axis so after indicating this i put my arrow y axis will be indicated here also the arrow your x axis is indicated so now let's see two centimeter to one unit so this is going to be one two three four five six seven since i need only up to six i can end there let me just have my zero here negative one there then here will also be one two three four let me have it five then six this will be negative two negative negative one negative two negative three negative four negative five and negative six so let me have here also to be six all right so what do we do the first triangle to draw 
is given at a point 3, 1. So I'm going to go for 3 on the x axis, then 1 on the y axis, their intersection is going to be here. So that is where my m31 is going to be. The n is also 1, 1. So 1 on the x axis, 1 on the y axis. So indicate that point there, your n, 1, 1. Then the third vertex will be 3, 5. 3 on the x axis, 5 on the y axis. So that also be indicated as P, 3, 5. Next question, we are asked to join the vertices to form a triangle. So now let's join this please. So our first triangle is drawn. The second thing is to draw the image for the reflection. So three on the X axis, negative one on the Y axis. So three here, negative one will be right here. And that is for my M1, which will be three, negative one. The next will be one, negative one, one on the X axis, negative one, here, so this is also going to be n1, 1, negative 1, 3, negative 5, 3, and negative 5 will also be here. So p1, 3, negative 5. So what do I do? I now have to join those vertices to form the second triangle. So our second triangle is also drawn. Now we go for the third one, which is the special mapping. Six on the X axis, negative one on the Y axis. Six on the X axis, negative one. So that is going to be here for M2. M, six, negative one. The next point will be two, negative one. Two as positive, then negative one here. That will be n2 to negative 1. What is next to do? We need to go for the last one, 6, negative 5. 6 on the x axis, negative 5 on the y axis. So p2, 6, negative 5. So finally, we need to join those vertices together to see the special mapping. So this could be an enlargement, more or less like an enlargement from the first triangle. So this is how we can represent the calculation we did under the transformation on a graph sheet. This is our first perpendicular line, the second one, or this is the first, the second one, and I think you grab the concept for that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, don't forget to like, subscribe, and Leave your comment. Bye-bye.